What's up, Gam Fam, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Join the Gam Fam, it's lit over here. Today, I'll be reacting to Sophie Ellis Baxter, and the song is called Music Gets the Best of Me. Um, shout out to Matt Holworth from Patreon. This was a request from them. Let's get right into this. Here we go. very familiar uh, uh, oh my gosh i know i've never heard this song before but bits and pieces like it's like i heard it before but i'm i'm pretty sure it's not this song like did someone do like a remake or remix with with like certain like that uh, uh that sounds familiar like was that in another song or something um, because that's like, I don't know, that specifically is triggering something in my mind, but I don't know where I heard it. The fact the I'm sorry for pausing, I'll go back a little bit, but the fact that she she's like, um, listen, I need y'all both to get along. <laughs> Even that just shows how much she loves music and how much she just is into her work, you know? To to say that music is her life, but she's saving a spot for her significant other. So don't be jealous because music is always going to be a part of me but i'm i'm carving out this this spot for you specifically so you should feel very lucky to be in this space because music always comes first but um i'm pushing it to the side for you <laughs> that's what i got from that let me know if you got something else but yeah <laughs>
why she looks sad at the end. <clears throat> but I, I really enjoyed that song. I like it. It had me dancing and I, I thought it was really catchy. Um, it's so funny because when I see older videos, it's like at least once in your career, when it comes to music, you have to shoot a music video at an amusement park. <laughs> I feel like that's in the contract or something. Like you have to film it at like at least one time in your in your music career. You have to be at an amusement park or arcade or something like that. Like you have to be playing some type of game. <laughs> Cause it's like that, that was definitely like early 2000s to the 2010s a little bit like a lot of artists were in arcades or at an amusement park riding the rides or something but i thought it was really cool how she did the perspective from her significant other like the we were technically her significant other because we were on the other side of the camera and she was pretty much like tussling with us and like you know she was going through the experience with us so i thought that was really cool that you know they made us that other person on the on the other side looking directly at her but yeah that was my reaction to that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video